Hello, hello. Who's here? I know Rodrigo and Andres are listeners. Roberto, are you a participant? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Today, uh, I am ready for the class, teacher. Yay, great. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Yeah. How are you doing, Roberto? Today, I'm... Um... I'm so tired because uh, I had a lot of work in, I need to vacation. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need vacation. Yes. When do you, when do you have your vacation? Um, I, I will have vacation next, next week, probably. Um, December 2022, because um, today the company has a lot of work. It's probably, mm -hmm. it's probably uh, we are going to, we are, we, we will work mm -hmm. on vacation, but it's not sure. It's not sure to. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, but you're supposed to leave to leave um on the twenty second. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Twenty second. Twenty mm -hmm. second on December. Okay. Okay. It's a very few days, right? Only like a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only only one a week. Yeah. Well, you need to take advantage of those days to rest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. And we say rest, but actually uh, it's the time that we, well, at least in my case, I I, I use that time for seeing my friends, my family, you know, people that I don't see the whole year sometimes. So you don't rest actually because... There yes, we, many things to do. We are we are say uh, rest in Saturday in Sunday, but but in the house or other activities, uh, uh, we we lost time. Yeah. For example, um, mm -hmm. next Saturday I I get up. I will get get up at. 5 5 a.m. and um, I I going to run 10 kilometers. Wow. Yes. Is, um, are you participating in a are you participating in a competition? Yes. Um next next Sunday is probably uh, we we are running for 20 21 kilometers around the lake of Cuatepeque. Wow. So Saturday you're going to practice. Yeah, it, it's the, practice. Uh-huh. For the upcoming competition, which is Sunday. It is on Sunday. Mm, okay. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful ray because um, um is around the around the lake of Guatepeque is a beautiful, beautiful mountains and mm -hmm. and different different route. It's a beautiful landscape, right? Yes, it's a beautiful landscape in in the lake and in the mountain. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, nice. I hope you can get a, a, a good place in the race. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> today is uh for me is a is a training because I need to I need to lose weight around 20, 20 25 pounds, but I I love it running. Yeah, I imagine. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, we have some other people here already. 
We have um, Sofia. Well, Sofia is a listener, I think. Lady, hello. Gabriela, Mauricio, and Rebecca. Let's see. Mauricio. Okay, lady, I see you're a listener. Um, okay, I'm checking here your messages. Mm, how about Gabriela? Are you participating, Gabriela? I guess not. Gilberto, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Gilberto? Today I find um, I feel excited to finish the three module uh, intermediate. Okay, you're excited about it. Great. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Okay, uh, talking about that, um, I think you got a notification, right? Um, regarding the final survey, which um, actually, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but uh, we, uh, I mean, there was some, some technical issues. And so next, next um, Monday, the, the 18th, we are taking that survey, which is officially our last day because of the technical issues. So, um, so yes, uh, uh, you will receive the uh, the information, or I don't know if you already got it. Um, and it's important. I guess you have already done this. I don't know if it's. I I don't think it's the first time. But um, there are some things that we need to fill out together. Uh, so you will get that information or that link, right? Uh, and we will fill it out together, okay? Um, now, well, in terms of the work that you're doing in the platform, uh, let me see. Okay, give me one second. I'm just going to go over a, what we have so far. And for some of you who may need to um, to update your status, let's say, or your work, let me just show you here how we're doing. Um, I was uh, talking to a coordinator today, program coordinator, and I told her about the issues some of you have been reporting. For example, I think the last ones were Andres and Israel. So, um, well, they said they were going to work on that. Uh, I just want you to know that I am uh, checking whatever report you you post in the group and making sure that uh, people in the administration, in the program administration, also follow up with those um, reports, okay? Now, let me check here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen now. And see how we are doing. Hello, Israel, good evening. 
Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. I, I see some of you have already um, like finished, some others are almost done. In general, I think we're doing great with the with the homework right um mm -hmm. most of you have been i mean have almost completed right the the homework the tasks i don't know if you if you heard me israel when i was telling uh, your classmates that uh, every report that you have posted in the in the whatsapp group i have followed up and uh, well i hope that they are fixed they told me they were going to check them today afternoon uh so i hope uh, that is fixed as soon as possible okay so please uh, if there is something else that we need to check and fix uh, let it let us know in the in the chat Okay, well, uh, now let's see what we are doing for today. Okay, well, uh, we're starting with these ideas. Okay, let's see, let me make it bigger. Okay. Um, we're starting this lesson with uh, some questions. Now, here is the objective. Uh, in this lesson, we will be able to discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. Okay, so discriminate effective from ineffective. Uh, in this case, discriminate is a synonym of differentiate. Okay, differentiate. Um, so we have, in order to start, we have some questions. The first one, what is the best way to get customers' attention toward your product? And how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Okay, um, we're going to, I'm going to um, ask some of you uh today we have a few participants let me check who is participating we have gilberto um i think israel mm. let's see roberto okay only three people well um so i'm going to start with roberto Roberto, how would you answer this question? What is the best way to get customers' attention toward your, towards your product? How would you answer? Teacher, you, you are share the, the, the presentation. Ah, maybe I was presenting the 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 um the platform, right? Yes, or yes. <laughs> I forgot to, to change screen. Okay, okay, here we are, sorry. So this is uh, the lesson and uh, we have the question, what is the best way to get customers attention towards your product? The question is the in number one. Uh-huh, yes, the one that I have like highlighted. Okay, uh, what is the best way to get customer attention towards your product? I think so. Uh, the better way is, um, is for example, uh, get a promotion about the product or, or add the product in different, in different platform, social media, TV. Mm -hmm. Or or I think some, 
uh, promote the product in the different in the different store depends on the on the kind of the products. Mm -hmm. Depend on the kind of the product. Um, for example, if the product is full, I I promote the product in in the supermarket in in the principal street and other. I think so this is I think I think this about the about the question. Okay, thank you. So let's say that it will uh, in conclusion based on Roberto's answer, it will depend on the product. However, uh, there are some strategies that can be applicable such as a promotion in different stores and also social media. Okay, great. Uh, let's see, Israel, what is your, your answer to this question? What is the best way for you to get customers' attention towards your product? Well, we have been um, studying about branding, mm -hmm. and the place where I'm going to sell my product mm -hmm. is important too. Mm -hmm. Also, the way how I'm going to show to the to my future clients. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the package if is very if is uh, something that uh, no one have seen before with another product or this or, or a product a similar product. Uh, for example, we what we were talking about the Cola Champagne label that mm -hmm. was made by Fernando George that mm -hmm. give the the product another uh, sensation or appealing to the clients. Okay, great. So in this case, uh, we can say that um being innovative, right? Um when we talk about something that nobody else has seen or used, then that's innovation. Okay, great. Let's check the second question. How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Um, Gilberto, how would you define something? Okay, for example, well, let's let's uh divide the question into two. First, uh what could be an ineffective way to increase awareness? The, the first part, ineffective. What could be an example of an ineffective way to increase awareness? Uh, I see teacher the ineffective brands. Uh, uh, I see uh, I I think that my client were when the product uh, uh, I when no sé cómo the product uh, no no buys or or no no buys this you play the customer uh -huh. or, or, or for example the product uh, low qualities the and decay uh, garlic uh, uh, the product uh, is uh, Como que se, se, se daña los tres meses, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. It, eh, it, it expires. It, sí, it expires. It, mm -hmm. Expires. And, mm -hmm. uh, our product, uh, I party, in party in three months. Mm -hmm. Y en, en otra uh, en, en ocasión, uh, only one month the quality a veces ya viene dañado el producto y solo nos dan un mes para moverlo verdad no mm -hmm. this is another way you can say it it is a perishable product perishable 
yes, yes. You're, what you're saying that it 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 doesn't last too much, right? You need to yes. you need to sell it uh fast because it is a perishable product. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. And the 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 except uh, mistake the product in the affected increase the brand and brand awareness the, the company okay mm -hmm. so let's say that based on 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 this i this uh, information uh, we can say that an ineffective way to increase awareness for example would be i don't know like if they want to um, have a long process of uh, you know, sometimes uh, it takes months to um, to develop a um, publicity campaign, for example. Uh, so as you're saying, in, in your case, your product needs to move fast, right? They needs, it needs to be a commercialized fast. So yes. So a effective ways or some effective ways to increase awareness would need to be related to how much your product lasts, how much time your product lasts in good conditions or in excellent conditions, right? I think that is an important aspect to consider. Uh, yes, the time. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and Okay, now in your own experience, Gilberto, do you think, I mean, related to spices and the products you distribute, um, do you, what is that, what is something that you do uh, in real life now um, to increase awareness with your product? Uh, yes, teacher, uh, in my case, for increasing Warner, uh, it's very important. I have product on time. Okay. Uh, and good quality. Uh huh. Uh, and low price. Low price. Okay. Yes. That is a. I guess that is one of the most important, right? Elements: the price. <laughs> See. About and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, great. Um, let's see now. Uh, we're going to continue with a, a conversation here, where we um we have some expressions that we're going to discuss later, uh, their function and how we use them in sentences, etc. But right now, let's focus on uh, the topic, okay? The content of the conversation. So uh, the instruction goes, Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business, okay? And we're going to read the conversation and practice it. Now, before we do that, I want you to, I want to check if we have if we know what brainstorming is. Okay, do we know what brains, what's brainstorming? Yes, teacher, I know. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. <laughs> okay, uh, the brainstorming is when, for example, I need to, I need to get a, a better results and for example in my product um I had a meeting with the when the people when the people of the company and we are talking about how how they improve the product and everyone everyone say one or different idea about mm -hmm. the the get better results about the product this this is a uh, a brainstorming. Exactly. Okay, very good. So everybody gives their idea, right? It doesn't matter if it is right or wrong. This is a stage 
I well, this is usually the first stage uh, for this kind of process, right? Brainstorming ideas, meaning that everybody can participate, uh, everybody's ideas are welcome, there is no right or wrong. Uh, later, of course, there is a filter of these ideas, but right at the moment, uh, all ideas are, are welcome. Okay, great, so that's brainstorming. Now, uh, this is what they are doing here in this conversation, right? Olivia and Leo. So let's see what they say, okay? Um, for this conversation, I'm going to ask um, Israel and um, Roberto uh, to help me uh, read it first. And then uh, we're going to practice with a... Um, we're going to practice with Gilberto as well. Well, I guess right now you are the only participants. Um, so that's why you are my, <laughs> you're my helpers today. Okay, so can we start please? Uh, Israel, you start please. The Olivia okay, mm -hmm. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Mm -hmm. Roberto, please. Okay. Uh, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing to changing the logo or your business. I noticed you changed it uh, at least five times last week and fix the wow. spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes look original. Hmm. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a con consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, thank you. Great. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, Gilberto, can you practice? Okay, we're going to practice. Uh, I'm going to be Olivia, and you are Leo. Okay. So. Okay. Let's practice. Okay, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You me don't, you me do, you, you me do, don't, I know anything, Olivia, to start your cool stop changing to logo or your business. I noticed you changed in a, at last, least five times last week. In fact, the spelling in your logo, design, open eye, uh, happiness, Mm -hmm. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything I see in you better hire consul. Olivia, they will help you with the business. Okay, great. Um let's practice. This word, consultant, consultant. 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 Uh, this last part is a little tricky because we uh, we don't mention the vowel sound. We only use the consonant sounds, okay? Like the- Consultant. T-N-T, yeah, consultant. So, consultant. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Consultant. consultant. Okay. Um, well, we, we can see these expressions that we have in bold. Okay. These are the ones that we're going to focus on uh, later on. Um, but first, we need to uh, complete some um, items that are related to the content of the conversation. Okay. 
So the instruction is that we read the conversation again and we write the corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentences. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, okay, I'm going to make it smaller just so I can share with you uh, this... Oops. Give me a second here. Okay, first I'm going to copy the conversation. Oops. Okay, stop sharing for a moment. Okay, I'm I'm a uh, copying the conversation into the group. Okay, so I'm going to share it there. There you go. And now I'm going to copy the questions too. So these are the, the items. Okay. Now, let me share the screen again. Okay, so the instruction for this activity is to read the conversation again and write the corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentences. Okay, and we have a sentence number one. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Number two, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, two minutes so you can check the conversation again and uh, find out what are the corrections that we have uh, from Leo, okay, about these two sentences. Okay, so we have two minutes. Uh-huh. No sé si alguien habló. No? Okay. Okay. Well, let me just, I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. I forgot to, to bring water with me at the beginning of the class. So I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, let's see uh, if we are ready. Are we ready? Okay, uh, let's see, Gilberto, uh, what's your number one? What is the correction that we find in the conversation? And I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Uh-huh. I think teacher, <clears throat> the, the Leo, uh, no, no, nothing uh, about branding or marketing. He, the associate the Olivia is very important mm -hmm. for technology. The 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 branding business and online. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well, the exercise, Gilberto, is about finding the corrections. Okay, like this example, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing, uh, is here at the beginning. Olivia says that. Uh, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Okay, so this is what Olivia says. And then Leo corrects her. How does he correct her? Well, he says, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? So in this case, the correction that he is making to this sentence from Olivia, okay, is this part. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? Okay, you don't know anything. So let's look at the two phrases. Don't know nothing and don't know anything, okay? So this is the correction, okay? This is the correction. Uh, I don't know or don't know anything. I don't know nothing and I don't know anything. Uh-huh, the, the, the correction that, that Leo is making to Olivia is, specifically this part, okay? Because okay. Olivia says, don't know nothing. And uh, Leo corrects her, okay? Uh, how do we know that he is correcting her? Because we have this expression, you mean, or do you mean, right? Do you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? So, um, that is the correction, okay? Uh, don't know anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the you answer. You mean you don't know anything. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So instead of saying, I don't know nothing, we say, I don't know anything. Vamos a escribir aquí, pero... I don't know anything. Okay, now let's check with number two. Uh, Roberto, what do you have for number two? I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. Okay, teacher. Um, Olivia, Olivia says, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. Mm -hmm. um, the current for um for Leo is you mean you never noticed anything. Uh-huh. I never noticed I never noticed anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never noticed anything. Okay, so that's the answer to uh, these items related to the conversation. 
I'm sorry. <clears throat> and now uh, we are going to continue talking about these expressions, okay? And if they are correct or not correct and why, okay? And so we're going to move to the next page. Let me turn right. Okay, so we're coming uh, here to the next page. And uh, here we have this chart, how to avoid double negatives. How to avoid double negatives. What are, first of all, uh, we need to identify what the what a double negative right what is the double negative um and well here in the chart we have examples and also a little definition of a um, double negatives okay so well the instruction is look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises below Okay, so um, Israel, could you help me read this explanation that we have at the top? Two negative in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement. Like, I don't know nothing could be interpreted in, in how do you say interpreted? Uh-huh, interpreted. Like, mm -hmm. Interpreted. Uh, differ differently as I don't know something. Okay, as I do know something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. um I want you to I want you to be aware of this because okay, let's remember that here we are um, using Mm, let's say standard English and in some cases academic English, right? That's what we are practicing. Of course, when you listen to the music in English, when you listen to regular people talking, talking live, patients in their daily life, right? They say, I, I, I don't know nothing. It's, it's common that we can hear that in the streets or with a conversa casual conversation with someone, etc. It's very common that we that they they um, say it that way. But that uh, doesn't mean that uh, it is grammatically correct, right? That's why it says here that two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. Okay, so there is a mistake there. Um, okay, and uh, that's why it is suggested that we use a uh, one affirmative and the other one uh, negative, right? Okay, so right now we can uh, check here uh, the the examples, right? Uh, we have like the the incorrect way in the correct way. So, um, Roberto, can you please help me read these examples? Okay, teacher. Um, contrast, we don't publish, publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our products. Mm -hmm. And the correct form, we don't publish anything unrelated to the benefit of our product. The following, the company. I'm sorry, I was speaking, but I was muted. Yes, okay. go ahead, please. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, the company didn't get to additional sales after the event. And the correct form is the company didn't get any additional sale after the event. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And the last one, mm -hmm. the expert never said nothing about the drastic change of image in our product. The correct form, the expert never said anything about the drastic 
change in image in our product. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto. Now, I need a, I need us to focus on uh, the, the incorrect examples, okay? And identify what is the double negative because here we're talking about double negatives, right? So, uh, what are the two words that are expressing negativity or negation in, in the sentence? For example, uh, when we say we don't publish nothing, please tell me the two words that are in the, the negative. Don't. Don't and nothing. Nothing. Don't and nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, in the case of uh, the second example, it's don't and anything. Didn't. No, the second. Oh. In the second, we have. Didn't. Didn't and no, mm -hmm. right? And no. And no. Mm -hmm. And yes, in the last one, we have nothing also and. Never and nothing. And mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um. All these words are, they express a negativity, right? Negation. So um, what happens when we, when we change or when we try to avoid the double negative? Okay, and now something that I want you to remember here is that uh, we Spanish speakers uh, tend to do this. And this is what we call in in this is a, a technical <laughs> technical term we call l1 interference okay l1 interference when in this happens happens uh, when hello rodrigo <laughs> welcome back okay uh, I'm 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 talking about this term L1 interference because this is what happens when we are speaking in Spanish and uh, we translate our ideas in our head. I don't know if that still happens to you. Do you think first? Okay, I need you to answer this question, please. Uh, do you when you are going to say something in English, do you say it? Uh, sorry, do you think about it in Spanish first and then translate it to English? Who, the, who, who has that situation? You think in Spanish and then you say it in English. ¿A quién le pasa eso? Mi eh, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Mi teacher. Mm -hmm. Who else? Only, only Rodrigo? Okay, now what happens when we do this? Uh, Spanish has a, a structure, right? Uh, which sometimes is similar to English, but not all the time, right? And this is an example. Uh, if we translate, for example, the first uh, case, the first sentence into Spanish, diríamos, no publicamos nada relacionado a los beneficios de nuestros productos. Entonces, ese no publicamos nada, si se fijan, es literal al primer, eh, a la primera oración, ¿verdad? We don't publish nothing, okay? We don't publish nothing. So we take a, the structure in this case from Spanish. We are taking the structure from Spanish into English, okay? And uh, so that's what we call L1 interference. L1 means our first language. In our case, our first language is Spanish, right? So um, this is some. This is a mistake that we Spanish speakers 
make a lot, right? The double negative, eh, because we are thinking in Spanish, right? And then translate it into English. Now, how can you stop translating eh, or thinking in Spanish first? Well, there is no, I will say that there is no specific uh, strategy. It's just a matter of um, practice, okay? With the time, with time, we stop uh, doing that and, and um, just think, thinking automatically into the English structure. But I wanted to share that with you because you may, uh, I mean, you may be aware of these situations when they happen, right? When they happen to you. Another situation of our L1 interference is for example, with some sounds. I don't know if you have noticed that some sounds uh, are difficult for you to make in English, right? Um, for example, one of the most common sounds is the when we say think or thank you. Many people tend to say, I think, or I, or, or when you say thank you, thank you, right? With like the S, but uh, the sound is different. But why do we do that? Because in Spanish, we don't have, a, we don't make that sound. Okay, at least in El Salvador, we practice what we call the ceseo. Si han escuchado el ceseo, que todo lo decimos con, con S. No importa si va con C, si va con Z o con S. For example, zapato, Z, right? Cebolla, con Z. Eh, sapo, S. And it's the same sound for the three of them. So we take that into English, right? And when we, when we need to make the sound, for example, for think or thank you, it's difficult for us, okay? So this is a parenthesis about how we learn uh, the language and uh, how our first language is sometimes uh, interferes, right? With the second language, in this case, English. And that happens, especially when we learn it as adults. Kids don't have that problem. So, okay. What do you think about it? Have you had any of those situations? I think teacher, um, with this example, it's very important to know what is the difference because sometimes we are made a mistake using uh to to negative mm -hmm. or to negation in the in the sentence for example like mm -hmm. uh the example uh mm -hmm. sometimes uh i i say we don't we don't pub publish nothing uh -huh. and this, and this is a mistake um in this case i think we we need to to learn about about the use of the different words when we we can negative something mm -hmm. yes definitely i mean here honestly i would say that this is not you know one of those big mistakes that will for example um, break the communication, you know, because sometimes we make mistakes and uh, we can continue communicating. People understand what we are saying or we understand what the other people uh, want to say, even though they are making mistakes, but we understand, right? Um, however, uh, and especially when we are uh, using a professional speech or an academic speech, uh, that's when we need to know this, right? Uh, what would be the, the most the standard way to, to express something? And that's why at the beginning I said that 
we here in our program, we are using standard English or in some cases, academic English, right? Um, I mean, if we hear people speaking English in other contexts, they will make many mistakes, even if they are uh, native speakers, just like we do in Spanish, right? We make a lot of mistakes in Spanish. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now um, we have been talking about this the wrong way, but let's check the correct way. Okay, uh, so what what's the change that we see? For example, from nothing to mm -hmm. from nothing, we Any, change it to anything. Anything. Uh huh. Anything. Nothing. Anything. And then here, this example, no, we didn't get no additional sales. The no changes to any, any, right? And here again, we have nothing versus anything. Now, if we, if we think about it in terms of the meaning of the word, they basically mean the same, okay? Uh, nothing and anything are the same, okay? Same meaning. Or in this case, no and any, they have the same meaning, okay? Ninguno, ninguna, nada. Here in this case, nothing, nada. Uh, the second case, ninguno, okay? So the meaning is the same, but the form of the word from nothing to anything or from no to any changes uh, in two situations, okay? Uh, we have two situations in which we use anything and any. The first one is the one that we are looking at here, negative. What is the second one? Mm -hmm. Lo voy a anotar aquí. We use any and anything for negative, negative statements. And, for example, if I say, do you, did you get any present? Did you get any present? For Christmas? Did you get any present for Christmas? Yes, teacher. <laughs> me, lo to me tomo literal la pregunta. <laughs> Did you get any present? <laughs> okay, but what is that? Is it a statement or what? Is that? Did you get any? It's a question, okay? I'm uh -huh. asking a question. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the, the rule is that we use any and anything for negative statements like these examples and questions, okay? Uh -huh. Like my example, when I say, did you get any present for Christmas? It's a question. So yeah. I'm using any, okay? Uh -huh. so in, this the, is the... in this case, mm -hmm. any, no. in this case, uh, for example, did you get any, mm -hmm. any present uh, when in this, in this, ex in this example, mm -hmm. it's, it's negative. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that is because I'm using it in a question. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So. If, uh, if for a question, any, and anything for a negative. No, for both. Like ah, okay. okay, okay. For example, okay. Let me let me give you another with anything. So you anything is like you don't need something else. For example, I say, did you get anything for Christmas? If you notice, I'm not using the noun present, okay? 
I'm just saying, did you get anything for Christmas? And when you use any, you need the noun. Did you get any present for Christmas? So with any, you use the noun, any present. With anything, you don't use the noun. Mm -hmm. Like, and you can see that here as well. For example, uh, let's see, with, we don't publish anything unrelated to the benefits. So there is no other noun here to, to complement anything. However, in the case of any, yes, we see didn't get any additional sales. Okay, aquí tenemos el sustantivo, sales. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference between any and anything, okay? With any, you need the noun. With anything, you don't need the noun. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but let's keep practicing. Uh, I know that maybe there are some doubts. Let's practice with uh, the exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have a mistake. Every sentence has a mistake. So we're going to take some time to correct it, okay? But I'm going to um, I'm going to give you time to do it in pairs so you can discuss and probably if there are some questions that we still have, we can discuss them together, okay? So just give me a moment. I'm going to I'm going to share it with you in the you can see let me see here okay so there we have the exercise but also I'm going to Vamos a hacer el, el de las, los ejemplos. Okay, I'm going to share the the chart here that I that we were talking about. Okay, so well, the first one is the exercise, and the second is the chart. Now, um. Let's work in pairs and let me check who else is available right now. I just remember I, I forgot to pass attendance today at the beginning. Okay, so I guess before we get into the groups, I'm going to do that. Let's make a little parenthesis um, because I have forgotten. Permítanme que cargue esto porque se me quedó pegado. Ok, let's start. Dani Anthony, si buen aventura. Let me see. Yes, he's here as a listener. Gilberto Benito Santa María Ríos. Yes, teacher, present. Hasta sin voz se quedó Gilbert. Tanto hablar en Present. inglés. <ríe> <ríe> ok. José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Uh, you still driving, Andrés? I see you're a listener. Uh, José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Here, teacher. 
Ok, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Julio is a listener today. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. She's also driving. Mm. Luis, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok, María Leticia Realigiño González. Thank you, María Leticia. Um, Mauricio de Jesús, Buruca Velázquez, he's a listener. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez, I see you're here. Ok, Andrés, thank you. I imagine the traffic is horrible today and tomorrow it will be even more horrible <laughs> because it's payday, it's Friday everything together, right? Um, okay, let's see. Eh, Roberto Carlos Cámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay, Sofía Karina. No, sorry, I'm skipping Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Okay, he's here as a listener. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. She's also a listener, she's working. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. I see you're a listener too. Okay. Well. Okay, so now we're going to go I'm back sorry. to the task. And let's see. I think we have two pairs. So I'm going to make pairs. These are the classic pairs. And you know why, and you will see why I say the classic pairs. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, just to remind you, uh, what we are doing is uh, working on the exercise we have. Well, I I shared with you, right? Uh, where we are correcting the double negative mistake that we have in sentences one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I have to okay, get John. Great. Okay. Let's move, let me move to the other group to check. se viene la vacación. Ajá. Que sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Puedes compartir pantalla o te comparto yo aquí ahorita? Eh, si quieres compartirme vos ahorita. Vale, ahorita lo voy a hacer. Ok, just checking. Eh, we are doing the exercise. I shared in the chat. Uh, where we correct the mistakes from uh, sentences one to five, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, Rodrigo, you can, you can see the exercise? Yes, I can see. Okay, this is correct. Correct the double negative mistake in 
each sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. The da the department department doesn't doesn't know nothing about branding. And the W negative is doesn't and nothing. Nothing, uh huh. Okay, entonces the uh, we are changing the the, the nothing, nothing to for, the nothing to anything for anything. Okay. In the the second. The manager never tells you nothing about the plans to improve the brand or the business. It, it is saying, it is saying, change the, change nothing for anything because never is, is negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you can read the number three in four. I don't know. I don't know, I don't have nothing against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. In this case, uh, we change nothing to anything. I have, I don't have anything okay. against billboards. Okay. In the fourth one, we didn't, get, we didn't get no increase in sales after Albert. Change the customer don't want and in this case is the same uh, in, in the number five is the customer don't want any any change in prices the customer don't want to change price yes correct mm. nice any nice Teacher Gilberto was telling me that every time I, I see a no, I have to change it for uh for any. Um aha, if you have it um double, yes. Yes, I have, if I have a double negative, mm -hmm. like number five and number four. Number five and number four. Let's see. We didn't get no increase. Uh huh. We didn't get any increase. We don't want customers. Don't want no change. Mm -hmm. Don't want any change. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The no gets yeah. replaced by any, and the nothing gets replaced by anything. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. The thing is that okay. Um. In the in the classification of words that we have, a, any is an adjective, and a, um, anything is a is a pronoun. So nothing and anything are pronouns. No and any are adjectives. So because they belong to the same category, they they. Um, you change no by any, and you change nothing by anything. I don't know if um, if I was clear. Yes. <laughs> okay. A hundred percent like for chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the thing is that sometimes I I we may get to too um technical right with the with the terms like well i don't know um 
Uh, in this case, I was talking about parts of a speech, uh, which is like nouns, adjectives, adverbs, verbs, etc. And so they, depending on the category, they have different functions. So in this case, that is the idea that no is changed by any and nothing is changed by anything. Okay. Simply put, okay? <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> Okay, so you're done. Are you done? Yep. Yes, we have done. Okay, okay, good. Well, um, let's go to the main room and we're going to compare with um, our classmates. Okay, and then we're going to check something else. So see you there. Okay. Thank you, Gilberto, for your help. Okay, everyone, we are back to the main room. And this time we're going to share what we were discussing with our pairs, okay, with our classmates. So let's start with Gilberto and Israel. Can you please share your answer to number one? Gilberto, do you want to start or, or I start? Okay, I want I want to start. The departments doesn't know anything about branding. Okay, the department doesn't know anything about branding. Okay, I'm going to be writing it here just so uh, your classmates who are listening can see the answers, okay? Uh, let me see, let me see, annotate. Okay, so anything. Okay, great. Uh, let's continue with um, Israel. Would you do the number two, please? The manager never tell us anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business okay so anything again right yes anything. great okay um roberto could you please continue with number three okay teacher let me see. Number three, I don't have anything against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. Okay, anything? Uh, Rodrigo, please, number four. Uh, we didn't get any increase in sales after, after advertising on, on Facebook. Okay, any? And uh, the last one, can you please share it as well? Rodrigo? The customer, I don't, I don't see. I'm sorry. <laughs> the customers don't want any change in prices. Okay, any. 
Okay, good. Uh, so far, so good, right? They are correct, all of them. Now, I want you to observe this pattern, okay? Um, when we change, uh, when we use anything and when we use any, because we were discussing this with Israel and Gilberto, and uh, they, they were discovering, right, why or when we use any and when we use anything. Can you please check the pattern that we have? For example, the first three cases, what is the word that, that gets replaced by anything? Mm -hmm. Which word are we replacing with anything? What was the question, please? Um, which word are we replacing with anything? Like in the first three cases, one, two, and three. Nothing. Okay, mm -hmm. nothing. And four and five, maybe Rodrigo or Roberto can help me. Which word are we replacing with any? Uh, the no. Aha, no, yes. No. Okay, so what I was explaining to Israel and Gilberto about this, and actually they had already discussed it, they they alone without me, <laughs> um, and they had concluded, right, that um, nothing replaced anything and no replaces any. I mean, why is this so? Because, I, and this is something I explained to them, because in this case, we have two different categories, okay? Any and anything belong to two different categories of words, okay? Any is an adjective and anything is a pronoun, okay? So, um. Let me write it here. No in any adjectives. Um, nothing in anything. A pronouns. Okay. So for example, we can we could not say. It, the department doesn't know any about branding, okay? Even though we are a, we are making the double negative disappear, but we are creating a, another mistake because, because the idea is incomplete, right? So, or also in number two, the manager never tells us any about the plans. We cannot use any, okay? Because the idea is incomplete. Any what? Anything. If we say anything, then we are completing the idea, okay? So no is replaced by any because they are both adjectives. Nothing is replaced by anything because they are both pronouns, okay? so. Mm, I wanted you to see that uh, pattern. And, well, please let me know if that explanation is clear, especially for Rodrigo and Roberto, because um, I had already explained this to Israel and Gilberto. How do you see this? Is it clear? When we use any, or when we replace by any and when we replace by anything? Yes, teacher. Um, I understand your 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 information about about this word when when use uh 
any when you use anything. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto. Okay. Well, um, now we're going to, okay, I want to see how much we have understood this topic because here we are just doing the exercise according to the instructions, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, take you a little bit beyond the exercise and uh, we're going to, uh, let's see, mm, probably not an isolated sentence, but a little paragraph, mm, probably about three to four sentences where you combine anything in any, okay? Uh, for example, talking about the same uh, to topic, right? Uh, regarding branding, brand awareness, we can say like similar to the conversation we checked at the beginning, right? For example, uh, I want to, okay, I want, I make a chocobananos in charamuscas. Um, but I don't know, y ahí viene el uso de estas palabritas, okay? But I don't know any, I could say, but I don't know any, any person who can help me promote my products on Facebook, okay? So, try to combine a, any and anything in the in the little uh, paragraph or, or conversation okay so um i'm going to also give you some time for you to do this uh, in pairs and try to combine both any and anything okay so i'm going to write it here in the chat because other one, or maybe here in the WhatsApp group so everybody can see it. Okay. In pairs, create a conversation. A conversation where you use any and anything at least twice each. Use the conversation on page, let's see which page. 36, okay, so there is the instruction and now do you want to keep working with your classmate or do you want to change? No teacher, keep the, the same partner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's see. Ya tiene sus compadres ustedes. Eh, en <laughs> Spanish, Simón. <laughs> I have my compadre. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Um, well, let's see how much time we can take. Probably around between five to ten minutes to create the conversation, and then we we share it with with our classmates. Okay, so here we go.
So, teacher, we are going to do some sentence or a, conver a full conversation with my partner. Yes, try to make it more like a conversation mm -hmm. so that it is something more meaningful, maybe more coherent. You can take the conversation as I mentioned in the in the the, the one we practiced. Uh like you have something, a product, and you're trying to promote it, but you don't know how, something like that. Okay. I'm typing a small conversation to 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 do it with Gilberto, but I don't know if it's it's, it's going, it's going to be a just a two paragraph. It's not going to be a big one. Okay, Don Israel. In this case. Uh, Tomamos el parámetro la, la, la conversación pasada. ¿verdad? Por lo menos ah, bueno. Israel, Israel. Me puede, podemos preguntar ahí. I send you, I send you the, the small conversation, but this is it's, it's really a small conversation. It's not a big one. You can check it. Okay. It says. Hello, Gilberto. I don't know anything about verbs in English. Yes, I could help you, Israel, but I don't yes. any advice to you. Only practice every day. Okay. But now I don't... you can you can add something for anything because I see you have something for. I mean, you have for any. The first one is. Uh, the first one is with anything. Ah, okay, okay. But I think in the par the second paragraph there something is is missing because I said I don't any advice to give you. I think is is the, the 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 right word to put in in that sentence was any advice to give you only practice every day. Okay, I don't have any advice to give you. Um, just, just practice every day, only practice every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes sense. It's okay. It's okay. No, okay. No, we have our dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. One two you can add two more <laughs> as you okay. said israel is too short <laughs> well like like i said at the beginning i don't know anything <laughs> do you know do you have you heard um this well they say that uh, Socrates, you know who Socrates is? Yes. Uh -huh. He said, ah. I just know that I know nothing. Or I yes. just know that I don't know anything. <laughs> His famous quote. Exactly. Uh -huh. So that's a perfect example of the use of nothing and anything. You can say, uh -huh. I mean, you can, you can say the quote as i just know that i know nothing i know nothing affirmative or i just know that i don't know okay i'm going to add to i'm going to add two more paragraph just using any and and anything okay Okay, let me see what Rodrigo and, and Roberto are up to. 
but you're done basically, right? following tip to improve the brand recognition. Uh, number one, most effective, the least effective. Teacher, I, we are have a question. Teacher. Yes, I'm Teacher. sorry, I was, I was muted, uh-huh. Hey. No, what are what are we are going to do? <laughs> Did you see my message? I I sent you a message in the in the group. In pairs, create a conversation where you use any and anything at least twice each. Use the conversation mm -hmm. on page thirty six as a model. A I need five minutes. I need to restart the, the PC. I will come back in five minutes. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to check with, with Roberto what, what, um, what could be some possible uh, examples. The idea is that you use any and anything. In different in different sentences. Uh -huh. For example, think about I don't know. You're trying to promote a a product, and you need you need to have some experience on something specific, but you don't have it. So something like that. Okay, a situation like that. Could be. I mean, I'm taking the conversation that we have at the beginning as an example. So similar situation. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to check what Israel needs, and hopefully Rodrigo is soon is back soon. Uh huh. What happened here? I don't know what happened with Gilberto. Suddenly, he was <laughs> not here with me. He disappeared. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm, probably he lost connection. I think uh, because, like I said, suddenly he was not there. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he joins us. Yes, here he is. Hello, Gilberto. Hello. Mm, yeah, I guess his internet is not is not good enough today. Uh he's not. He put on mute his microphone. Yes, but he left again. Oh. Uh, uh-huh. Well, it's a problem with the internet. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Rodrigo is back. Yeah, I don't see him back. Probably he's trying to re restart the connection or something. But have you added something else to your conversation? No, no. I, we were talking about that, about um, what we are going to 
to the conversation. Ah, he's back. Mm. Alberto? No, <laughs> I don't see him. Uh, I thought he was talking. No, no. Well, uh, we didn't add any uh, another paragraph to the conversation because we were talking about what we what we are going to put on. Okay. Or what we are going to add. You on. could add. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me see. Here we have it. Yes, I could help you, but I don't have any advice to you. Only practice every day. Um, let's see. Probably you can say a yes, but um, it is difficult because um i don't have any time to practice during the day i don't know something like that like follow follow the the, the same idea right follow the same conversation well he didn't come back and I guess Rodrigo also didn't come back to this. I don't see him here either. He ran away. <laughs> no, he said he want, he needed to restart his computer. Uh, mm -hmm. These are the perks of technology, you know? Sometimes is not our friend. Um, okay, I think I'm going to make you go back to the main room and uh, we can share the ideas we have uh, because this is actually extra practice, okay? I wanted you to put these two words into uh, a specific context, okay? So let's let's do that. Let's go back. Okay, well, um, we came back. I, I, I think we, we, some of you did not have the time or the opportunity to finish because of connection issues. Let me see what we have here in the chat. Oh yes, Gilberto is having internet issues and well, uh, but I don't know if in the case of Roberto and Rodrigo, you got to do something or create at least one or two examples or not. Yes, teacher, I create two examples. Okay. Uh, for example, number one, mm -hmm. my boss never say, my boss never said anything about work in Saturday. Okay, perfect, yes. And the second, mm -hmm. uh, the company didn't get any additional benefit in this year because uh, um, there, there, there aren't, aren't a lot, a lot, a lot purchase in the, in the marketing. Excellent, both, both examples are correct. Great job, Roberto. Um, 
Okay, and Israel, could you share your your ideas, please? That you were working with Gilberto. Well, I'm going to try to remember because I typed it on the chat of the group. It's here. You can you you cannot see it. I can see it. Really? Where? In the Zoom chat. Can you see the Zoom chat? No. Mm, but it's there in the Zoom chat. I just can see the the chat for for all the classmates. Mm, okay. Well, I'm going to read them for you, okay? Ah, uh, uh, thank you. Uh -huh. We have, okay, in this case, uh, you have created a little conversation, a very little conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it says, hello, Gilberto. I don't know hello, anything. Teacher. Okay, I'm reading the conversation. <laughs> I don't know anything about verbs in English. So here, a, um, Israel is using anything, right? I don't know anything about verbs in English. And uh, then Gilberto is supposed to say, yes, I could help you, Israel. Um, let me see. I don't, but I don't have any advice for you. I don't have any advice for you. Only practice every day. Okay, so in this case, they are using any. Um, so same, both examples are correct uh, with the correct use of any and anything, right? That, that's what I wanted to see, how well uh, we had understood this, this part about when we use any and when we use anything. And I think we got it. Okay, great. Well, um, let me see. Mm, let's share the screen. So this was a uh, related to the grammar part. And now we're going to finish by checking this uh, last part of the, the page here in the manual. Um, well, this activity is about ranking the tips to improve brand recognition from the most effective to the least effective, okay? Um, so we have uh, the tips here to the right. And Gilberto, can you read the first two, please? Yeah. Teachers uh, refer to uh, provide Greek customer service. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. that is the first one. Now the second one. The uh, second one, constantly remind your target market that you are actively doing, doing business. Okay, let's practice these words, consistently. Consistently. Okay, and the other one is you're actively. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we have the first two tips. Uh, Roberto, can you read the next one, please? Yes, teacher. Develop a heartfelt story that speaks to why you are in business. Okay. Uh, in this case, we will say develop, develop a heartfelt, heart develop a, a heartfelt, a heartfelt, heartfelt. How do you understand this expression, heartfelt story? What kind of a story is this one, or what is a synonym for heartfelt? Heartfelt. Mm -hmm. Heart, of course, we know, right? But what would be a synonym for heartfelt? Develop a heart. Mm 
is like a, a, a true a true story. Mm -hmm. Yes, but also because it, in, it involves heart, uh, we're talking about an emotional story, okay? Okay. A story that, you know, plays with people's emotions or touches people's emotions. Um, mm -hmm. It's like uh, the reason because why 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 I stay in the in the business. Aha. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, we will say develop a heartfelt story that speaks to why you are in business. It's like, for example, some people say, uh, you know, I I developed this product which is a, which means to, so much to me because this is something that my great grandma used to make when we were kids and we really loved it and uh it it reminds us of those great times those great memories with our family together etc usually they the stories go like that uh, okay teacher i get mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that's the third tip. Uh, Rodrigo, can you read the next one, please? Uh, provide value, exceed their expectations. Okay. Provide value, exceed expectations. Okay. And the last one, Israel, please. Oops. I'm here, teacher. Um, use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Okay, very good. So now that we have gone over the five tips, uh, let's rank them. Okay. Um, so let's let's do it together because of time. Okay, because we 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 don't have a lot of time now. Um, okay. What would you say is the number one? the most effective. Remember here, we are talking about tips to improve brand recognition. So for you, what would be the most effective um, tip? In this case, what is the number one? Yes, what is the number one? I think okay. that I think the number one is provide a great customer service. Okay. So that's in your case. Let's see who Okay, for Gilberto, what would be your number one? Uh, number one teacher provide great great customer service ah okay so you agree with roberto that would be your yes. number one too okay mm -hmm. but remember okay let's let's focus on the fact that imagine you are starting your business um even if you provide great customer service, probably a few people know about you, right? But still, it's it's valid. Okay, let's see. So two people have this one as number one. How about number two? What would you use as number two, uh, Rodrigo? or anybody else, we're doing it together. So I'm just mentioning some of you to... For me, the provide value exceed their expectations. Okay, provide values. It's provide value, value. Um, okay, what about number three, anybody?
for me teacher number three is consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like when you tell, for example, uh, you tell, uh, imagine you're selling shoes or clothes by catalog and you tell your clients, uh, yes, here I am at your service. Whenever you need me, you can just call me like that, right? Send a message maybe every week, every two weeks to remind them that you are there at their service. Okay, good. What about number four? Develop a heartfelt story or use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Gilberto, what do you think? What would be your number four? Develop a heartfelt story or use the same logo? In this case, teacher, you the same. Use the same logo. In all your marketing material. materials. Uh -huh. Materials. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so according to your decision, this would be the last one. Develop a heartfelt story. Okay, I just want, like, well, this is, remember, these, these ideas have two purposes. The first one is that we practice our English, right? And the second one is also that we become aware of the content as well, right? Not just because we are practicing English by talking about this, but also that we uh, get familiar with this marketing content. So I'm going to um, just um, remind us here that this is related to brand recognition. And if you remember the stages for, for um, brand awareness, uh, one of them was related to brand recall, right? And we discussed the meaning of recall, which is a synonym of... Uh -huh. ¿Quién recuerda? <laughs> recall is a synonym of remember, okay? So how do you remember a brand? First of all, you remember it by its colors, its logo, its uh, image. So usually um, that is like the first stage, right? That people learn to recognize your brand by these very visual cues, right? So, and then comes customer service because when they already recognize your brand visually, then uh, they well they they start uh, doing this uh, how do you call it a um, mouth word of mouth publicity right yes I go to this store because they they have great customer service and so on so this is just a, a little feedback related to the content that we have been uh, discussing. Okay, uh, well, the self-assessment, I can discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. You can do it independently with occasional help or only with help. That is up to you. Okay, well, let's check attendance for the last time tonight before we leave. So let's see, Danny, are you still here, Danny? Let me see, yes, okay. Eh, Gilberto, Benito, Santa Maria. Dios. Okay, Jose Present. Andres Martinez, I hope you got home safe. <laughs> eh, Jose Israel Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, eh, Julio Aristides Paz. Yes, a uh, lady, Joan Hernandez. I don't know if she's still driving as well from San Salvador. 
a Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Y María Leticia Galejeño. I see you there. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. Yes. Y Rebeca María Cardona. Yes. Y Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Present, present. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rolando Danilo Sánchez. No, the thing, I wanted to mention your last name. That's why I was like. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Sofía Karina Crespo. Okay, she already left. And Yesenia Gabriela. Where are you, Gabriela? Um, I think she left already. Okay, well, uh, this is it for today, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, Rodrigo is going to be dancing tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I will be my party. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.